Okay, friends, here we are. My deck interview with the uh, Nicoletti. I think I've been calling her Nicola Ciccoli. Nic Nicoletta Ciccoli. With a little mini. Little mini. So here we go. What are you here to teach people? I've got the Knight of Wands. I've got one of the whippers. One of her whipping women. What are you here to teach people? That life is brutal and demanding. It's interesting because she's this rocking horse is on a pentacle. Look at that. That rocking horse is in the middle of a pentacle. What the heck does that mean? Oh, this is the cups. It's not the wands. It's the cups. So this is the Knight of Cups. If I were to interpret it as the Knight of Cups, it would be love. What are you here to teach people about how to search for spiritual meaning and offer love? But that's not what I get out of this image at all. And I usually, if given a choice, I go with what the image, what is being shown to me here. And to me, this is, I mean, to me, there's just no way of getting around the fact that this is a rough ride. It's a rough ride for her because it looks like the horse is trying to buck her off. Um, it looks like her hobby horse is freeing itself from its little rocker action there. And, you know, she's whipping. So it's a rough ride for everybody. Um, which, for some people, is very exciting. <laughs> it's a lot of excitement. Um, how would you describe yourself? So this is how the deck describes itself as the Queen of Cups. So maybe I didn't shuffle well enough, but here we are. So to me, in this image, the deck is the fish. The deck is definitely the fish. <laughs> Coming through the window, saying, hello, are you going to accept me? Hello, I'm your deck. I'm your weird deck, swimming in the window. I want to kiss you. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> um, number three, what is your opinion of me? Oh, she gave me the Queen of Swords. Now, I have to say that I do feel that I do have a strong Queen of Swords aspect to my personality. I would, um, but, but this Queen of Swords is eating, maybe she's having her cake and she's eating it too. In any case, She's brutally eating the, the cake that has a face <laughs> and legs. She looks like she's eating the brains. Okay. Okay. I can, I can accept that. I've never eaten brains. I don't care to ever eat brains. But I do value brains. So maybe that's what's coming across here. And, you know, I can see the aspect of tasting and judging, which certainly I am doing here. And if it sees me as somebody with a knife, um, yes, somebody who splices and dices and analyzes and evaluates, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is me, I have to confess. Um, how can I best collaborate with you, with the deck? Another wild ride. It's saying to get off the merry-go-round. Get off the merry-go-round and go for a wild ride. Escape. So to go unchained. So that's an interesting message. Certainly encourages, um, you know, kind of forging your own path. Going off. Don't you know, to, to not 
feel like I need to do what other people do with the deck or do what use the deck how it was intended or anything of that kind which is what I tend to do anyway um, what are your strengths as a deck here we have the Knight of Pentacles or no no, it must be the page. It still has a it still has a helmet, but there's so this is strengths as a deck. I don't know. Um It's clear there that she's attracting, you know, she's attracting butterflies, um, maybe attracting transformation. Um, I'm going to stick with that, attracting transformation, or perhaps those who are willing to transform or who have been through transformation. Again, she's got a lot of worms in this deck. She's got a lot of larva-like things in this deck. So in this, in this card, we are beyond the larva stage. We are in the transformed, airy, light phase. Um, all right. Weakness or limitations as a deck. The star. I could see that. Um, to me, this deck is um, t a lot about microcosms. You know, it's even... Um, oh, I thought I had one in here that I picked that... No, not really. You know, where you're shrunken down to toy size. So it's about microcosms. It's about what's happening in a very intimate space. In fact, often you barely get out of the person's... the figure's body, you know? And so you're not seeing big picture. You're not seeing the star. You're not, you know, I don't see how you'd use this for career planning or that sort of thing. Um, that's utterly not what this deck is about. Or to plot your life path is not. It is a very intimate, personal space kind of a deck. So um, for the purposes that I wanted to use it, which I went into in the review, um, I see that helps me see, in fact, why I was thinking maybe it would work for that because it is it is very intimate. Um, it stays very close to the to a body to some body, physical body. Um, next, what is the potential outcome of working with this deck of my working with this deck? God, it's the pestilence. I keep getting pestilence and knives. I've got the mosquito. <laughs> I've got the mosquito rider. And you see it's a mosquito. It's got the... How the heck is that an outcome for our time together? I mean, you know, if you step back and you go, okay, it's the six of, six of wands. Um, it's supposed to be a card of victory. I don't feel that this this card predicts victory. A blood sucker. <laughs> Potential time. Result of our time together is that I will become a blood sucker. Um. I will ride the bloodsuckers. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me if you have any. Tell me if you have any insight into how I might interpret that in any sort of a positive way. It's not coming to me. I'm sure that it's not intended to be as negative as I'm taking it. But anyway, there it is. Um, what is one thing you ask of me? Oh my God. It's the devil card. Ah, oh, come on. 
uh, I guess it doesn't have to focus for you to see what it is. Um, it's a carrot lusting after a young girl. <laughs> At least she looks more womanly. Her face looks more womanly. You can't see that, but she looks like Fay Ray in the hand of uh, King Kong. But King Kong is a carrot. Um, so I would say that what it's it's asking of me, you know, especially in the way I was thinking of using it, um, would be to get in touch with um, desires um, and temptations and that sort of thing. And so, you know, maybe that's why this isn't the best deck for me or even for my general clientele, um, because we tend to be older women. And not all older women are in my situation where my desires just sort of... But we're not, I think most of us, in as unless you've been in a really unhappy marriage for a really long time, you know, not so worried about exploring um, sexually or sensually, having done that to some extent already. Well, I can't say that. You know, again, you know, it's kind of my audience is kind of from 35 forward, and I know that I did, you know. Um, as I was nearing menopause, I actually, um, it must have shot me full of a bunch of testosterone or when my, when my estrogen was pulling back, you know, I ended up with a ratio that was out of whack. I, I experienced a lot of desire and which was much more open to experimentation and things like that than I had been when I was younger. But, um... We'll see. That's one thing they're asking of me anyway. This deck is asking of me. Get in touch with lusting carrots. Um, last one. What kind of reading do you enjoy the most? I feel like this is critical. It's going to tell me whether I should even keep the deck. Yeah, I don't know. Low stress, de-stressing, detoxing, amusement, having a little bath with your gingerbread man. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to... record these responses to my deck review questions and um, I may do another the deck review where I actually choose the cards I go through the deck and I choose the cards and I might just see because it's a fun way to get to know a deck um, I don't think it's quite as insightful I don't think it's quite as insightful as this but um, as, as this kind of reading but it's a good way to get to know the deck because you're looking at every card as does this fit, you know, would I have a crush on this, do I look like this, um, would I want to help this person, that kind of um, thing. So I may try that as a way to relating to the deck. And like I said in the review, I'm going to have to try it together with the Wildwood Tarot. That will be the ultimate, regardless of this, which to me does not tell me that it really wants to be used in the way that I was thinking of using it. Um, that, it, that it kind of wants to be used maybe in a lighter way than I was intending. So yeah, the trying it with the Wildwood will will be, and I don't think I'll probably record that. 
but that will be the deciding factor, I think, on whether or not I decide to keep it or whether it was a $10 experiment that is finished quickly. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.